Well, we're about to be joined by the acclaimed Daddy Ass on the stage, and we are joined here at the desk by Daddy Magic, Matt Menard. You and Daniel Garcia, the difference maker for Adam Copeland. Unbelievable, gentlemen, Toronto Wednesday night. Cut my music, cut my music. Yo. 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 Listen. We should have known. We should have known. Last week, the Bang Bang Gang, our former partners, attacked us right in that ring, left us laying. And as you can see, only two of the trio's champs are here tonight. Billy Gunn not clear to even travel after what happened to him last week. Billy got hit in the head by the switchblade, Jay White. Right, yeah, let's hear how you feel about Jay White. How do we feel about Jay White, Toronto? Yeah, I think the same thing, and I'm pretty sure he thinks the same thing about you guys, because he didn't even want to show up to Toronto tonight. But acclaimed, we show up when we're demoralized. We show up when we get attacked, when we get hurt. We show up because we're never scared. And Jay, we know that you're scared, pal. I'd be scared too if I was some light heavyweight, fake tough guy who hides behind his ass, boys. So Jay, you talk about saving Darby Allen's life. Allow me to save your life right now, pal. I'm offering you a one-way first-class ticket to anywhere you want to go. Back to New Zealand, back to New Japan. You could go anywhere. I don't care as long as it's not here. And if you're smart, you'll take that offer. But you won't take it because you're not smart. You want to know how I know that Jay White is not smart? Because only a stupid person would piss off the best wrestler alive. Only a stupid person would piss off the acclaimed. And when you bring your stupid ass back here with your ass, boys, we'll be there to ruin your life and hunt you down. And Toronto, I apologize if I'm not the happy-go-lucky Bowens that you're used to, but I'm pissed off because there's three people that didn't have the balls to show up to Canada. Instead, they show some video sitting by the pool talking about the trio's titles and Darby, and it didn't really make much sense to me until I realized there's a little bit more to that. And that is that there's a teeny, tiny part of you that deep down knows that you guys are not elite enough. Austin Colton, there was a beautiful video package highlighting the beautiful history of the AEW Tag Team titles, and you weren't good enough to be in it. Jay White, maybe you should have listened to the internet and signed someplace else, because you brought your raggedy ass all the way over here. You went through the Continental Classic, and you lost. You got a shot at the AEW World Heavyweight Championship and you lost to MJF with one leg. And the only reason why you're holding a title around your waist is because the acclaimed helped you. You need to stop blaming everyone else for your shortcomings and you need to blame yourself. You are not a savior. You are not a catalyst. You are a coward, and I am counting down the days until we beat your ass silly. Now I want you to see something, Jay. Actually, cameraman, turn around, swing around. Toronto, throw those scissors high in the air. Put your one finger down and show the Bang Bang Gang how you really feel. Jay, we never needed you. We never will. This is the only gang we need because everyone loves 
McCaster and Bowens understandably fired up with the bang, excuse me, the Bullet Club gold firmly in their sights.